the most wonderful time of the year. Don't know what to get that special will during your life? We're here to help. Shop Worldtube at www.worldlife.com. Give them what they really want. Hi, welcome back, WellTube family. My name is David Cerita, pipe fitter welder from El Paso, Texas. I'm here with my buddy Moya. Hi, I'm Andres Moya. I'm from El Paso, Texas, pipe fitter welder. And today, guys, we're going to be showing you how to do some root repairs on alloys using the magic tungsten. That's hot. God, you malevious. Hi, guys. So today we got a six-inch Schedule 40 316 stainless here. We're going to start putting our root pass and we're gonna be uh, purposely putting some indications on the root so we can go back in with our magic tungsten and uh, fix them right up. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and fit this up. Start getting this tacked up for us. Here goes the tack. Okay. All right guys, and as you can see, you know, we are purging this. We do have a backing gas going. All right guys, so we got it all tacked up here. And you know, this is kind of simulating like if you were in the rack or you're out in the field and it's two long joint pieces of pipe together, somewhere where you normally wouldn't have access to get to the root. All right, so got our tacks all grinded up here. Go ahead and start running the bottom here. Be running this like in 5G, you know, like when we couldn't roll it somewhere, it's fixed in place. So we're gonna start uh, running our root here. All right, guys, so right there, I purposely left a piece of cold wire down there on the bottom. And as I'm coming up to my tie in here, guys, I'm going to try to make a bad tie in here so we can go back and fix it. All right, so I'm going to take a look inside and see what kind of indications we got there. As you can see there, down there on the bottom, got a nice piece of uh, cold wire there. And then up by our tack here, we've got a bad tie-in. I'm gonna go ahead and run this other side. Now I'm probably create another indication over there and we'll go back and uh, fix those up. All right, so. Coming up here, I'm gonna try to leave a, a good sized cold wire here. All right guys, so we look inside and you can see we got three indications down there. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go here to the fab table and we're gonna prepare our magic tungsten here. So we're gonna be repairing it using this here. Good old 6010 5P plus. And no, 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 we're not gonna put this and burn this on that pipe. We're not gonna use the 6010. You know, try to repair it like that, you know. We're actually gonna fix it correctly. And what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna get a piece of tungsten here. And we are going to weld it onto the end of our 6010 here. I'm gonna try to line these up nice and straight here. And I'm gonna end up tacking these with uh, ER70S6 332nd at about 65 amps. Don't wanna get it too hot here. Okay, so you might be asking, why am I using a 6010 for this? The reason being is I'll be able to slip this end here into my TIG torch and the flux on the 6010, the cellulose coating here, is usually a little bit thinner and that'll go ahead and fit right inside my bevel here. And the reason this is gonna be able to work here is because I have a, a backing gas so I'm shielded inside and I can actually repair this through the top, through the outside here. And, you know, maybe wondering why don't I use a long tungsten, you know, be able to reach down in there. You know, it's really hard to stay steady and you'll kind of arc off on these top edges of your bevel here. You know, that insulation from the 6010 helps you out. Okay, so I'm going to open up this bevel a little bit 
just to give me enough area to, to work and be able to manipulate the, the magic tungsten in there. Okay, to do these repair guys, you're gonna need an extra hand. So uh, Moya here is gonna help me. He's gonna be able to remove that ground and put it back on when I ask him to, just so when I'm actually putting the tungsten in and out, uh, I don't arc off on the bevels. Do that. I do have my purge on, it's very important. You know, this, this magic tungsten only works on alloys. You can't do this on carbon. You know, you gotta have a backing gas in there. You know, we got a backing gas flowing in there right now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this magic tungsten into our TIG rig here. And it's 6010 1 8th. You know, we were running a 1 8th tungsten, so it fits right in there. And you can go ahead and lock it down in place. All right, Andy, go ahead and take off the ground here. You know, I just turn on the, the gas up here, even though it's not needed. It just helps cool the rod off a little bit. It will get hot. You can't make a really long run, but you can repair for a short period of time here. So, all right, you got the ground off? Yeah. We just get comfortable here. For our internal repairs, guys, we're gonna be running 55 amps. Okay, go ahead. Good. Yeah. All right, kill it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check that out there. I went for that first piece of cold wire there at the bottom. And as you can see there, we got it all burned away there. I mean, the root doesn't look perfect. You know, we did a repair, but it is passable now. So we're gonna go ahead and go after this other bad tie-in we got up here. You can see we're missing part of the wall there. We didn't fuse in. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up to repair that there. All right, so to be able to kind of get a better view and access to this side, Indication we got, I'm going to go ahead and open on the opposite side. Just enough room to get that uh, magic tungsten in. All right. So again, uh, Andy, you got the ground off? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and uh, put this tungsten in here. Okay. Okay. What I like to do guys is I'll feel where I'm touching and then I can back up a little bit, just a little bit. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to judge distance, especially from this far back, but you touch it and back off as long as you don't got the ground on, it'll be fine. Go ahead and turn the gas on here. All right, go ahead and put the ground on. All right, so all I'm doing guys is just basically kind of back welding. Just trying to fuse the bad area there. All right, go ahead and kill it. All right, we'll go ahead and check that out. We still got a little indication, so go back in there and fix that up. It's almost fully repaired right there. All right, go ahead. Yep, we're good. Uh, kill it. All right. So, as you can see, we uh, fixed that bad tie in there. It's fused up there. You know, th this little magic tungsten here, it's very useful for, you know, if you're in a place where, you know, you got another line right here and you can't really get a grinder in there. You know, it's in a really tight, bad spot and all you got is a little indication you got to fix. You know, this comes right in handy there. You don't got to cut the weld out. You don't got to move the, the piping and spool pieces. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and repair this other cold wire we got over here around this area. So I'm going to open up a little window again up on this quarter. 
Same reason, be able to get my magic tungsten in there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go after that coal wire. Got the ground off. Yeah. Repeat the same thing here, guys. Go ahead and put our magic tungsten in here. Kind of look through, see where our indication is. I like doing the same thing, kind of feeling around to where it's at. And then I can judge my distance there, you know, just lifting up just a little bit. Do that. Okay. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. All right, guys, as you can see here, I'm using this uh, Clearview HD lens, an auto lens here. Normally, I'd be using a fixed shade for this, but I got no flickering. I'm running really low amps, 55 amps here. This repair, and I'm able to see right exactly where I'm striking and where I'm at here. All right, kill it. All right, so we already burned the cold wire. It is fused there, but as you can see, it is a little bit heavy. I'm just in that one area, so I'm going to go ahead and try to spread the metal out a little bit. All right, ground off. All right. Go ahead and stick this down in there. All right, ground on. All right, kill it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and finish up our route here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and kind of even out our gap here since I did open, you know, little windows. Try to straighten it out a little bit and go ahead and close her up. So turned our machine back up to 80 amps. I'm going to go ahead and run this upper quarter here. Alright Andy, what do you think? Magic or not? That works pretty good man, if you saw the indications from what I could see, it looks good. Looks like it's going to shoot. Alright guys, there you have it. I showed you how to make and use a magic tungsten here. I want to give a shout out to my dad. He's the one that showed me this little trick here. It got me out of a lot of binds when I was learning and it still does to this day. And uh, if you guys want to catch any of this cool gear like this medium cut pipe liner, flip adapter, and the new clear view HD lens here. Hit up uh, welllife.com, go ahead and grab you one. And you guys saw I was welding through the gap with this lens, man. No issues, no flickering. I was able to see right where I was. And see you guys on the next one.